A very warm welcome to this lecture. Out here, if you are migrating from Ionic version 3 to Ionic version 4 or 5 or later on, then this lecture is for you. If you are a fresher, I don't think you need to understand this up. If you want to see, you can just check it out. It's yours. But this is mainly for those who are migrating from Ionic version 2 or 3. So out here, let's first see the difference between Ionic 2 or 3 from Ionic 4 or 5 or above that. So let's check it out. So at first in Ionic 3, we have to install the Ionic CLI. Then the Ionic project needs to get ready. And once that is ready, what needs to be done? Well, we have to integrate our plugins, Cordova plugins. So when, when we do that, we are preparing it for the native applications for the Play Store and App Store. So it is mainly used for building mobile app workflow. Then after that is done, we get the final output as a mobile application. Now Ionic 3 mainly focuses on building mobile apps. PWA can also be built using Ionic version 3, but that was the secondary focus as of then. And with Ionic version 2, PWA was not possible to be built. All right. Now let's check it out how it differs from Ionic 4 and above that. Let's check it out. So in Ionic 4 also we have to install the Ionic CLI. But along with that, there is another feature that we can use it with CDN or NPM also. We don't need to use the Ionic CLI. If you don't want that, we can just skip that part. But I'm not covering the CDN part in this course because I feel that Ionic CLI is a good way to go ahead with building the web apps or the native applications. But you can use that up. There is an official documentation of Ionic where you will find how to do that with CDN and NPM also. Then we can build the web app projects using any of those. After our web app is properly built up, what we can do? Well, we can prepare a web application from that. Our project is ready and the final output we can get is as a web app. But if you don't want a web app or we can say a PWA because the output that we'll be getting is a either a desktop app or a PWA in the web app. That's what we are going to get out here. But if you want to build mobile applications using this web app project, then what you need to do in Ionic 4 and above? Well, you need to integrate either Capacitor or Cordova. So you can use any of those tools to build your mobile application. Now, after using any one of those, what you will see, you will get your ultimate mobile application with a nice design, right? So that's that's the whole structure of Ionic 3 and Ionic 4 and above. So this is the basic difference between Ionic 3 and Ionic 4 and above. Now, if you want to know about Ionic 4 a bit more and the difference between Ionic 5 plus. What is the main difference between these two? That might be a very interesting topic for you. So in that, in Ionic 4, I'll just take an example. Let's say, let's take an example of an ion label. So out there the syntax is, if I want to center that particular label, then I will pass text center as an attribute out there. All right. But in case of Ionic 5, the syntax changed a bit. Now out here you can see on the screen that in Ionic 5 and above, we will be using a class. And in the class, we have to pass ion text center. So where in Ionic 4, we were just passing it as an attribute. Out here, we are just passing as in a class and we have to use the ion initials out there. Ion dash text dash center. That's how we do. So these are the minor changes and there are few more changes in the particular components or something which you will get out there in the documentation. So this is our Ionic framework documentation and out here if I just scroll down to the bottom well there is a reference section and out here there is a migration tab out here. So if you go out there you can see how to migrate from Ionic 4 to Ionic 5 and also if you scroll down, you will see how to migrate from Ionic 3 to Ionic 4. So all the breaking changes are given in details out here. You can just go through it and understand each and every step if you want to. Now remember one thing, if you are migrating from Ionic 3 to Ionic 4 or Ionic 5, then you have to uninstall the Ionic Angular package and again you have to install it so that the recent changes gets impacted otherwise you will have some problem so remember that so this is the whole stuff that you need to follow and in fact there is a migration guide for ionic version 1 to ionic version 4 also 
you can just check that out so this is the whole migration stuff and the difference between the different versions of ionic so i hope you found this lecture useful so this is just a glimpse of our complete course on ionic from beginner to advanced level and i'll just explain you now how to avail this course so it is available on udemy there is a special limited period offer going on for few days in which you will get around 95 percent off which brings the course price down to price may vary after few days so do enroll in this course as soon as possible and i'm eagerly waiting to see you in this particular course and if you have any queries regarding this i'm always there to help so you can reach me out whenever you like to so thank you very much